morning I found welcome to today's video we're doing a little bit of a different vlog today or I am I thought I'd do a what I eat in a day at 20 weeks pregnant at an all-inclusive hotel it's been a it's been a it's been a lot right <laughs> I definitely eat so much more when we're on holiday. I mean, I guess most people do and they're all inclusive because you know We're not making the most of the alcohol. So we've got to make up with food, right? It's not just that the food is ridiculously good. It's so. very good when I say we've been eating much much more than home What I basically mean is I don't tend to eat breakfast at home usually um, and I don't usually even eat lunch But I do usually eat snacks, which is just not good here we've been eating three meals plus the snacks <laughs> so um, yeah, I thought I'd take you along today mm -hmm. and show you what we we literally woke up like 20 minutes ago Cheeky mood, isn't she? Uh, we're just getting a little too ready. It will be more like a, it will be kind of like a vloggy type Maybe bits in between but it's mainly going to be a what I eat in a day. I was 20 weeks pregnant at an all-inclusive hotel So I always start my morning off every <laughs> <laughs> so I always start my morning off with a bottle of water from the mini bar. Now I don't actually like my water really really cold which probably surprises some people because most people like it chilled from the fridge. I actually just prefer it at room temperature in the morning. So thankfully whilst we do get our mini fridge stocked up daily here with loads of nice um, <laughs> with loads of nice treats and um, loads of nice drinks sorry as well as treats <laughs> they do also put three bottles of water just on the side near the kettle to keep them at room temperature <laughs> you're making friends you're making friends yeah. <laughs> everyone here just wants to kidnap Mila <laughs> not actually kidnap obviously um, but we just got down for breakfast I thought I'd show you what's on offer in the buffet restaurant for breakfast even though every day we've had exactly the same thing well there was one day actually we had fruit, fruit yesterday I had fruit uh, I had two kiwis and what not watermelon just honeydew melon but every other day I've had fried egg on toast Isabel know what she wants every morning she every morning yes. she gets herself a nice cooked mm. omelette oh, so good so there's a selection of Yogurts, fruits in syrup, Turkish delight, we are in Turkey after all. Selection of cereals, a huge array of fruit, it goes all the way up, 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 up there. <laughs> A loads and loads and loads of olives and then loads of jams, chocolates, syrups, pretty much everything you could possibly think of. Over here we've got butters, cheeses, oh look at the honey here as well guys. Pure honeycomb. Absolute pure honeycomb. Selection of yogurt looks like it's running a little bit low. This is usually full. Yogurts and things. A load of salad, if that's your thing. First thing on the morning with some oils and vinegars. All the way up. Bagels and croissants and pastries and cheese filled breads. Loads and loads and loads and loads. Similar round at that side as well. And then there's this bread station. So you can choose whichever bread you like, chop it up, pop it in at the toaster, it's just up there. And we've got the cheese, the cheese section. So this goes the whole way down and these are just all different types of cheeses. And as you can see, I don't know what these little fruit pots are. Maybe just like fruit salad or something. Cheese, 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 cheese. I think these look like vegetables, carrots. More cheeses on this side as well. And then we have meats, chicken and salami, ham. And then on this section here we've got hot milk. We've got three minute boiled eggs up here. And then five minute eggs here. We've got random things like this little concoction. Spinach and eggs, potatoes. Um, mushrooms and then we've got rice, this is a selection of porridges, so rice, they're kind of like porridges, rice with milk, there's a few going down. And then finally you've got a huge section here in the middle, 
which is all hot food. So, fried peppers, no idea what this is, some type of sausage. This always makes me laugh when they do like chips. Hi, sweetheart, are you all right? Oh, I love those pancakes. It's my onion rings, fried dough. No idea what that is. Um, and then, yeah, where Isla is right now? Fresh pancakes uh, and Nutella. These are also pastries with minced meat. Pretty cool. I mean, let's face it. You're not going to go hungry. There is something, surely, for everyone. Uh, more pastries. It's hard to see with the lighting. And then around here we've got eggs and things, so this is like an eggs with vegetables mix, toasties, sausage toasties, cheese toasties, and then a selection of eggs in these as well. So, oh that looks quite nice, scrambled egg with sausage, sausages with sauce, scrambled egg with milk, Brussels sprouts for breakfast anyone? <laughs> Just bumped into Chris. He's going to Jason Miller's. Jason likes his pancakes. I know, I'm going to get some pancakes. <laughs> As an option. As an option, but um, yeah, that's cool. Jason has had pancakes pretty much every day since we arrived. Anyway, I tend to go for fried egg on toast. I do ask them to be made fresh because the ones that are out are usually only done on one side and they're, they're quite runny, whereas I prefer them done on both sides so they're not so runny. So I'm usually the one that goes on egg duty for me and Chris. Two nice eggs each. And he usually goes and grabs the toast. The only thing I will say is the toast machine here is not the one. <laughs> it takes so long. Um, I try and time it so that I go like five minutes after him because you obviously don't want your eggs going cold. But um, looks like I mistimed it today. And we start waiting. We're sat waiting for the toast to come. Uh, we've got a cute kids section here. Everyone seems to have left right now. So I'll just pan the pam camera around. Oh, he's here with a toast. I mean, that's a bit of a stack and a half of toast there, babe. Sharon is caring. A little sprinkle of salt on top. And breakfast is done. The breakfast done. I am going to swirl that down now with a glass of pure fresh orange juice. This is so good. It's the best orange juice It's ever. the nicest orange juice ever. around the pool and now it's time for lunch the last couple of days with Eva had or I've either had um, a chicken and avocado salad sandwich with chips from the restaurant over the way that's delicious or my other favorite which I think is my actual actual favorite is the Turkish chicken kebab oh my gosh they are, we did have a seed salad but I wasn't keen on it no I thought it was a bit sloppy anyway today we've come to this little Turkish hut that does like a Turkish pizza. I think we had this on like our first or second day, did we? Yeah. Something like that. Chris has had it pretty much every day, apart from like two days, because he's obsessed with it. Anyway, that's where we've come what today. A lamacon. 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 I've also got a, a glass of Coke and a bottle of cold water. Also, top tip for any parent coming to an all-inclusive hotel. This is probably one of my biggest tips I could I could give any parent with young children if you allow them to drink other than water, like juices and things. The all-inclusive drinks we found pretty much every single hotel we've ever been at, ever, don't do great drinks for young children. So their juices are like pure pure sugar juices like really strong juices either like pure apple juice or pure orange juice pineapple peach cherry there's loads of different flavors but they are really strong like really really strong and they don't do like the, the ones that you mix with water so top tip these are like a pound from the UK I brought six with us and we've gone through definitely gone through one haven't we Although the girls do like to drink these as well. Um, and they're really, really good because you can just get a bottle of water, which is what we do, and then make up a dilute juice. 
like so. Give it a shake. Give it a shake. And then, <laughs> and then you've got a juice that you might give. Oh my goodness, these are seriously delicious. So there's a salad bar just over the way. I'm gonna go and get some salad bits to put on top and then you just roll it up. Oh, it tastes so good. A bit of side salad to go with. Okay, that was delicious. We're now um, arguing over the last slice. Chris is telling me to eat it, I'm too full. <laughs> Chris knows he's gonna eat it. Not, he's pretending he's not. <laughs> I've eaten two rolled up slices. Go on, no, you can do it, Chris no, is eating three. <laughs> <laughs> the girls are all eating. Um, I got sugar. It, well, my first one's like dinner, so I got cheesy. Cheesy. And then I got a sugar. Yeah, they're all chopping my jeans. What? What, darling? And, and me, me one too. Me too. And me one too. Okay, Jace is asleep. There's a ball there. Come here. <laughs> Go on, babe. You can do it. Okay, we're not gonna comment on whether Chris ate that last piece or if he didn't. I didn't. He definitely didn't. Definitely didn't. I don't know what I'm filming right now because it's too bright. I didn't vlog, so we didn't have I think I kind of did vlog it. Now I'm thinking, what's next? Because I saved room for dessert and I don't know what I want. We've got the waffle station, which is the most important. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Waffle. Waffle for dessert, or maybe an ice cream. Because I got my sugar thing. You did. Um, let's go have a look. Uh, Can't decide between ice lollies or ice cream. I think I'm gonna go for a waffle and ice cream. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you be sharing? You to share? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Also, threat myself to a mocktail. It's called Ben 10. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. It's mango. It's so good. It's like dry, strawberry, grenadine, mint leaves, and a lemon. It's delicious. So good. It's like good meal. <laughs> Was that a good waffle? Yeah. <laughs> Hi there, can I just get a bottle of water, please? Gotta stay hydrated. few hours loving life around the pool. Whoa, it's so bright out here. Oh my god, I can't cope with how cute these souls are. They just make me smile every time. Still lots of sun and daylight left. It's about probably half past five maybe. Is it what time is it? Never know what time it is. Yeah, it's about half past five, just gone half five. Um, we actually worked out yesterday that this pool down here is a heated pool. It's really nice and warm and um, so we spent quite a bit of time around there. Also in that room there, there's like a indoor pool, a big indoor pool, plus a jacuzzi, like two jacuzzis, but really big ones. Um, and we also worked out that this here is an adult, not adult, it's a 16 and over pool. So no young children allowed in that one. Um, but yeah. So we tend to come back to the room around half past five. It gives everybody the chance to wind down before evening time, get showers, etc. Jason and Mila both usually have a nap as well for an hour or so at this time. However, they're not going to today, are they? Jay's pretty much slept about three hours this afternoon and Mila had a nap on me also just about half an hour ago she woke up. So there are no naps today, but it's all good. We're just going to wind down. One thing I do love about this hotel is that your mini bars are restocked each day, not only with drinks, but snacks. And one thing I always look forward to when we come back to the room, if Jason and Mila haven't beat me to it, is a little snack bar that kind of reminds me of a blue ribbon. You can't convince me it's blue ribboned. It's blue ribbon. Um, they're really, really delicious. So let's see if we've got one today. I don't know why I'm saying that. We get one every single day. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. Um, it's this, so nice. Okay, yeah, can so you I'm have that with a, can I what? Chicola, can you pronounce it? Chicolata. 
with the best accent ever. So I'm gonna have that and a bottle of water for a snack. So we just got down for dinner and here is what I'm going for. Oh my goodness, it looks absolutely delicious. I can confirm I've already tasted the barley rice and it's, veg it's like vegetables. I've also put some soy sauce on it and it's oh absolutely delicious. Beautifully cooked tomatoes, carrots and then a chicken breast around here that I've just seasoned with some what a sweetie pie that was absolutely delicious that's probably been a little bit adventurous <laughs> not adventurous a little bit eyes bigger than the belly is that the one that's with the rice but it was so good just left a little bit of chicken as well and also the carrots because they had like a, a spice on them didn't they they were really quite spicy so i did leave a little bit of carrot as well but that tasted so probably my favorite meal from the buffet So full from dinner. I think I'm gonna go with strawberries and cream and maybe some watermelon. Oh yes, this cream is the nicest cream. I probably get way more than I should, but you know. room after a really fun evening what did we play stick pontoon. or twist pontoon and what was the other one chase the ace chase the ace we only really know how to play two games of cards don't we <laughs> <laughs> pontoon is that the first time we played that with the girls surely it's not we we're playing for pounds and then on the last game chris raised the stakes and he said i'm gonna turn the top card over and whatever um, the amount is, so whatever number is the top card, that's how much you're playing for. That got the girls excited. It was five, so it was five pounds. And who won, Esme? Yeah, Esme came away with nine pounds tonight. <laughs> no, eight pounds tonight. Esme won us all. Anyway, it was a very fun evening. It was a very fun day. I know this vlog was a little bit different to our usual type vlogs. Don't know if anyone's even interested in what I eat in a day, but I do see a lot of these like what I eat in a day type things and I find them quite interesting to watch so I'm a nosy person. Hopefully some of you guys are nosy and we're interested in seeing what I ate tonight, today as well. That's all I'm having. No more liquids. I would sometimes have a cup of tea when we come back to the room but as it's half past 11 I'm not going to tonight. Um, I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. And we'll see you back here tomorrow for more holiday pool fun. <gasps> Curious George! I don't know. I still need to turn it back on for you. Jace is just watching Curious George. It's not dead, sweetheart. Ask Daddy and he'll do it for you. Um, we'll see you back here tomorrow for more holiday fun at 5pm. Good night, guys!